can't offer you a legally binding union. It won't hold up in the state, the county, or frankly any courtroom in the world due to your age, lack of a license, and failure to get parental consent. But the ritual does carry a very important moral weight within yourselves. You can't enter into this lightly. Look into my eyes. Do you love each other? Yes, we do. But, but think about what I'm saying. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, we are. Okay, they're not listening to me. Let me rephrase it. Oh, we're in a hurry. For Wes in general, you, you've been such a, a major collaborator for me. You've been back several times. What is the environment that he creates as a filmmaker that is able to create these films? Well, I think it comes from uh, his enthusiasm for community and for people to be together and have an experience. And he gets excited to do the things that the characters are doing. And I think he loves, like, demonstrating for instance like if some like when we were making Rushmore for instance there's a scene where I'm in the go-karts and he wa he got in the go-kart and was driving it around and demonstrating it and you know I, it was very clear that he was so excited to have this scene be in the movie because not only is it great for the movie but because he was gonna get to drive go-karts and so I think like his movie making comes from like a need and a desire to experience all these things and to, and to like live in them. What was your reaction reading the script the first time? What did it mean to you? I was just amazed by the quality of the script when I first read it. Um, and I, some of the things that we kind of did to help us get into our roles. Well, on the month before um, filming, we um, went up to Rhode Island and Kara and I would have like these um, rehearsals together to kind of like test our chemistry. At home, we would uh, send emails to each other. Like the, it would be like the letters that you see in the movie, the Dear Sam, Dear Susie letters. But then, like uh, halfway through, um, Wes actually realized that uh, we should actually do actual snail mail um, instead of email. So we restarted and we wrote the letters again. With is that um, the first time you guys have ever really written? like formal letters because it's it's just not a practice these days. It's, it's, more my first it's a lost art, but yeah. you know, there were the times in, you know, school where they would have us learn the format of a letter and yeah. so we would write letters. On set, it's a very, very small crew, like super tiny, and everyone's just sitting around, all the actors are sitting around together, and the whole idea is just to create a feeling of, you know, a family and people being together and laughing together and everyone lives together. Uh, you know, we all live in one house together during the movies and play sports together on the weekends. Wes put you guys together in any sort of wilderness setting? Did he ask you to camp at all? And in terms of your skills, what did Wes do to prep you? Um, well, in terms of my skills, um, he, I took canoeing lessons um, and I took cooking over an open fire slash fl fish flipping <laughs> lessons. <laughs> um, and I did some uh, physical training and that kind of thing, just kind of helped me. Again, it's like the like campy, camping kind of um, mood. All the, the kids were so happy and, you know, they loved being on the set and they didn't seem that nervous. Like, for instance, when I worked with him for the first time, I was How quite and out, nervous and visibly so. But they were just so, I mean, look at them. They're sitting over there. They're very, they're very cocky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But no, I just. I just <laughs> but but like um but but like when I was watching him talk to them, he doesn't. He's not uh, condescending. Like I think he not really relates to you know kids and stuff. He would always lean down and talk to them, eye to eye. Interesting. And I and I do think that that like I was like wow that's what Wes does sort of naturally with people who are young. Like he doesn't. Uh, he really is respectful of of young people and like the emotions and never is like naive about how complicated they, their feelings might be. In terms of working with people like Bill Murray or Francis McDormand, I mean these are these are giants. What did Wes do to put you at ease with them and to, to get you comfortable with them on camera so that that sort of goes away? There was really nothing that needed to be done to feel yeah. comfortable with them. They're so sweet and down to earth and just so very talented artists yeah. and they were just so easy to get along with. They were amazing people. I loved them. Mm -hmm.